What's up everybody, my name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. And in today's video, we're gonna be using our SDS rotary hammer from Milwaukee to drill some holes. And to keep the dust down, we wanted to try out Milwaukee's dust trap, which is OSHA compliant without a vacuum. But you have the option of using this thing with a vacuum. I gotta tell you, I've seen this in the stores plenty of times just like you've probably seen it in the stores plenty of times, but you said to yourself, will that thing really work? Well, we're gonna find out right after this message from our sponsor, VCG Construction. Go on over to vcgconstruction.com forward slash store for things like tech shirts, t-shirts, hats, and stickers. There'll be a link in the description below. As you can see here, they're showing in the demonstration, drilling straight up. We, we need to drill horizontally through our block wall. And this dust trap is a universal fit for SDS rotary hammers. So you don't necessarily need to use this with a Milwaukee. It is for SDS Plus. I like the idea of being able to use it with a vacuum because I feel like once you turn like you move your rotary hammer around, the, the dust is just gonna fly out. But we could test that. I do have one problem, one problem with using this dust trap. We have 12 inch block walls here, okay? Plus we have some drywall that's framed in and blah, blah, blah. And we have some issues, okay? But here's the deal. This dust trap is only good for up to eight inch drill bits. So let's, see how it fits on and how it works. All right, let's get this thing open. This is product number 48-03-3035. Wow, this is nuts. All right, so what you would do is, you'll see that hole is made to fit SDS Plus. It fits through the hole into your rotary hammer. Now, here's the deal. I wouldn't want my, I wouldn't want my dust trap getting in the way of my handle. All right, so we'd set our handle, right? So we want to then take our strap, and because this is universal, it should work with any rotary hammer. We're gonna go around the tool, but not around the back handle. We're gonna go around the tool here, okay? Na, 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 na. And then we're gonna lock in our strap. Now, if you're not using the vac attachment, you put the cap in there. And that's pretty much it, is what it looks like to me. And then this collapses, and it's supposed to catch the dust. This is the thing. You're gonna lose all that depth Okay, so literally, as this collapses, you're gonna lose like a good two inches of your drilling depth of your bit. So keep that in mind. So if you're going, to, the thing is, is that this is only good with an eight inch drill bit. Let's see here, if you needed to take the dust, the dust trap off, you, you spin it off and it'll, it'll come out. I don't know, I guess if you needed to get deeper, Right, you could, you, you could use your, your rotary hammer without the dust trap, but then when you need it, boom, you pop it back on. I, I wanna kind of illustrate how the dust trap will work. The other thing I wanna see is if we connect a vacuum to this dust trap, will it help to pick up the dust that's you know, away from, because this, this drill bit's longer than the dust trap, will having a vacuum help suck in some of that particulate instead of having it go airborne. Now, here's, here's the deal. I, I don't understand. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. Not, not terrible. There we go. Let's get to work. Now, the thing is, is that we gotta see about that hole, but I feel like this would not necessarily be a terrible solution if we were drilling a smaller hole. 
uh, when I say smaller, I mean this is you know fairly small. The reality is though, it's it's a, it's a, it's a, going to be a deeper hole. It's going to go out on the outside of the of the building, but. We want to go right in between here. Now, I don't know if you're able to see this. Probably not. But hey, whatever. Turn my vacuum on. I will say this. Well, you know, because the bit's too long, we did have some silica become airborne or cinder, cinder dust become airborne. But once the, the bit got deep enough, all that silica, you could see it in here, got, got sucked into the vacuum for the most part. It seems like, a, a, especially with the vacuum, seems like a very viable solution for eliminating airborne particulate. Here's the reality of the whole situation. I know it's a tough angle for you to see, and quite frankly, it didn't work out for, for me. You know, I literally need to drill that hole. I need to run cat, Category 5 cable. I need to run Cat 5E cable outside through that wall. And... I need to pretty much, to have the length, I need to, to pull this dust trap off, okay? So, for demonstration purposes, yo, know, it's, it's pretty funny. People, how come we don't do more job site videos? The reason, the reason we don't always do job site videos, the, the large reason we don't do is because it just never works out the way you want it to work out, especially when you have the camera on. And number two, because you know, you, you, we can't slow down the jobs. Literally, you can't slow down the jobs. So what we're gonna do is, it's not the way I wanted to demonstrate this, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our buckets to demonstrate this. So for regulation purposes, we're gonna do it by the numbers, right? We have a bit that's smaller than eight inches, okay? We're gonna drill into our bucket of 5,000 PSI concrete, okay? We're gonna do it with the vacuum. We're gonna see how, how it does. And this way you could observe how it picks up the particulate. All right, we turn our vacuum on. You'll see we got a nice amount of suction there, right? Now, quite frankly, I would want to hold, like if we had to drill a specific spot, you know, you're not gonna want to be like, oh, let me see here. You know, you would want to probably pull back on that dust trap, set your bit, okay? Set your bit, let go of your dust trap, Now remember, you're going to lose that two inches from the dust trap collapsing. So you might not be able to get to the full depth that you need. Also, if you wanted to set your depth guy, look, the dust trap will not interfere. Let's just say you needed to be three inches. You know what I mean? Three inches. You could set your, you still set your depth guide. The dust trap will not interfere with that. Pretty cool, right? And you'll see there's, you know, no particulate left in here. We have a nice clean hole. I gotta say that I feel like the rotary hammer drilled faster because the particulate was being sucked out of the hole as we're drilling. You did see some particulate was coming out of the old holes that were drilled from tool test roll. If you don't know what tool test roll is, you can go to this video over here. We're gonna do it again one more time. One more time. All right, we're gonna take the vacuum off. We're gonna put our cap in. Okay, we're going to drill another hole. We're going to see how the dust trap works with no vacuum. Quite frankly, I, I, I still feel like there'll be a lot of particulate. It's going to be much dirtier, but the particulate probably won't become airborne. Okay, we're going to place our drill bit here on the concrete. We're going to release our dust trap.
Okay. It definitely contained a whole bunch of particulate, but you will see we have particulate here and particulate on the floor there, okay, on the ground. Uh, not nearly as an elegant solution. I mean, it's better than nothing, right? This probably would have, the air would have been filled particulate otherwise, but with the vacuum, this is a real winner in my opinion. Pretty awesome. It's universal, okay? It, it fits SDS plus rotary hammers. Pretty cool. So check it out if you need an OSHA compliant solution. And if you like the video, make sure you smash the like button if you like not having airborne particulate. If it's your first time here not already, get subscribed and tap the bell. We do awesome videos like this all the time. And with that, I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one. Now I got to, come on, we got to drill a hole for real now over here. I can't tell you, I like the way that works. It's not too much at all. I know what you're thinking. You're like, yo, what's up with that backpack vac? It's Milwaukee's yeah. three. The best vac I've ever seen. If you wanted to find out more about it, where can they go, Mikey, to find out more about it? They can go here. No, they could go up over here. Perfect. <laughs> Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications throw. What? You're not subscribed yet. Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here.